Hey there, what's up? Welcome to the Daily Fight Podcast. This is the podcast for you if you are in the middle of a transition, a transformation, the middle of a mess, you are on the rise up to fighting for something, your goals, your hopes, your dreams, your desires, your future self. My name is Robin Tanner. I'm the author of The Machete Mentality, a future self strategist, and your coach on The Daily Fight. Now, I'm a mom of two. I'm addicted to some law and order. I talk to wildlife, I feed some raccoons, don't send the environmental police over to my neighborhood. These are the things that bring me joy. I love some peanut butter M&Ms, chips and salsa, and some good red wine. I'm a Christian, I'm a believer, and I am a fighter for me and for you so that you become everything that you are meant to be, so that you live the life that you have been dreaming of. And why this is so important to me is because many reasons but one of them I haven't told you yet is because I grew up in the land where people abandoned their dreams. And I may get some hate for this one, but my environment was that of settling. It was settling. It was accepting as is status quo. And that's not a bad thing for some people, but I'm the first one. I'm the first one in my family to do the damn thing, to step out, to actually live the dream that I've been wanting to live. And I'm here today to talk to you about standards. I wanted to share a story with you, a quick story about my kids and standards. And my kids are pretty awesome. I have two kids, a son and a daughter, and they're teenagers now. They're at that age where you forget how old they are because they're like in their mid-teens. And I'm teaching my daughter to drive now. My son is a black belt in Taekwondo. My daughter hangs upside down and it splits in the air in aerial uh, gymnastics or silks, whatever you want to call it. Just two amazing, resilient, badass kids. And of course, living with a life coach and a transformation coach and a fitness trainer, they don't really stand the chance on not getting those daily life lessons. And one of them is always about standards. And we don't know the standards that we're missing until we have something to compare it to. So what is it in your life? I want you to think about as you're doing this daily fight, as you are becoming you and figuring out you and having more awareness, what are your standards right now? Your non-negotiables. What are the things distracting you? What are the things that are driving you? And how do you know if they're even the right things? How do you know if they are serving you or holding you back or keeping you the same? Here's my standard. We go to Red Robin, all right? The French fries there, I used to do it with my stepmom, whose name was also Robin, and it was our thing to do. We just went and we were the people that ordered the basket of fries, the bottomless basket of fries at Red Robin. And that's all you got. And we doused it in salt and ketchup, and we would sit there and we would talk, and we would have a margarita, and it was awesome, and it was amazing. She has since passed from ovarian cancer, and she is also one of my many reasons to continue fighting because she fought the good fight, um, but lost it. And so one of my, my passion projects is just honoring and representing the rest of the life that she didn't get to live and making sure that you don't settle in some standards that you're not even aware of. So my kids and I are sharing this tradition at Red Robin and having the basket of fries and that's all we went there for and they bring out the fries and immediately I know they suck. They're not gonna be good enough. They're like, kind of burnt, they're mushy, and they're cold. And my kids are eating them. They're eating them because they don't know. Mom, you're crazy. Mom, don't complain. I roll in the mom that I'm going to be that mom to complain to the waitress and embarrass them and throw a fit, which was not the case at all. I very tactfully learned how to complain without complaining. And that's not complaining. That is having standards. You should not just eat the cold french fries. You should just not accept what is given to you that is not to your standard. Now, that doesn't mean be rude and be abrasive, and I know I get passionate and excited about it, but they didn't have anything to compare it to. They thought cold, lukewarm, mushy, burnt, that was sitting underneath, you know, in the, in the, and I used to, to work in the food industry, so I know that it would sit under that heat lamp, and then they would just dump more fries on top of the old fries. These were like the bottom of the barrel, the crappy fries. So I told the kids, don't eat any more of the fries. I'm going to tell the manager. So the manager walks over to the table and I'm like, hey, listen, we love the fries here. The fries are awesome. The fries are amazing, but th th we came just for these fries and these are not the fries today. These are not Red Robin awesome fries. Maybe you don't like Red Robin and you like somebody else, but whatever. And she was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Absolutely, I'll get you some new fries. So she takes the basket of fries away and a few minutes later she comes back with crisp, golden, piping hot. You open it and it's flaky and it's just awesome. French fries, amazing. Because especially being in the fitness industry and watching what I eat, like I wanna make sure that it counts, that it's up to the standards, that it's worth it. You don't just have to keep shoveling food into your mouth 
or things into your mouth or people into your life or projects onto your plate. And that's a whole nother conversation that we'll get into about the Thanksgiving plate. If it is not up to par, it is not up to your standards. And if it is not something that you just absolutely love and endure and enjoy, we often accept things that are less than because we're too afraid to speak up. We think that somebody's going to get mad or upset, or we just don't know any better. And in this case, my kids didn't know any better. But the minute that they had the red robin French fry, the way that it was supposed to be, the fresh one, the crispy one, the golden one that was, you broken open and you just, you know what I'm talking about. Like the white potato is just crispy and, and, and moist and it just melts in your mouth and it's perfect and it's awesome and it's delicious and it works every calorie. And they knew and they put it in their little mouths and their face lit up and they're like, oh, 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 and they got it. Now they had a standard. They had the French fry standard. They knew crappy, but they didn't know any better before. And now they knew fresh and they knew hot and they knew how it was supposed to be. So where in life, and now they know, they know not to accept. They know not to settle. They know how to politely ask. They know how to present it. I could have been a total B and be like, these suck, your restaurant sucks, we're leaving, we came here for this, blah. There are people that don't know how to handle it. Okay, there's ways to handle it and present the things in your life that are coming at you so that you have a french fry standard. So where in your life today, personally, professionally, or physically, that you need a french fry standard that you just don't know the difference because you've never tasted better, you've never had better, you've never experienced better, you've never asked for better. I ask for better. Because I know what it was like when I didn't have better. I know what it was like when I almost died. So I, I just want you to today to take inventory audit of your life. Where do you need a French fry standard? Where do you need to rise up? Where do you need to start fighting for some things in a way where you hold yourself to a higher standard? Is it, is it in your physical life? Is it in your body? Is it in your health? Is it in your nutrition? Is it in your sleep? Is it in your exercise? Is it in your integrity with yourself? Is it in your professional life? Do you need to go ask for a raise? Do you need to put in more effort into your job? Are you doing enough? Are you doing too much? Are you overworking? Are you underwhelmed? What about in your relationships? What about in your marriage? What about in your service uh, to your community or to your family or to your friendships? Personally, where do you need different standards? Are you in a social setting or a social server where you got a basket of fries of people that are keeping you like the crab in the bucket and pulling you back down into the pit that want to keep you and hold you back, that they're judging you? Like, who is in your circle? We hear this a lot, right? Like, who you hang out with is who you become. Are you in a room sitting at a table with people that challenge you, that have the same aspirations? If not, come on into our rise and join our badass army of women who are on the, the fight for their future self, who want more, who want better, who are doing things. And you don't they don't have to be the same things as you. It's just that they're in a growth state, that they're not accepting life as is. You know, that they're doing a renovation in their life. We don't all have to agree on how we get there. But where you come together in this that makes it beautiful, that raise your standards is the perspectives and the challenges of other people that, that allow you to question yourself in a way that helps you fight for your future self, that allows you to surrender the pieces of you that are the basket of french fries that are lackluster and less than have been sitting in the bottom of the basket under a heat lamp for I don't know how long. But they deserve to go into the trash. <laughs> you deserve the fresh ba basket of french fries in your life. You deserve the best. You deserve fresh. You deserve hot. You deserve steamy. Yeah. And I know that might sound cheesy, but I hope that it paints a picture for you today that you raise your standards. You deserve this. This is the daily fight for your future self. My name is Robin Tanner. I'll see you back tomorrow. We're going to be discussing your future self and what that means and what that looks like. Make sure you, you go down into the show notes. I know I've said it a million times, you know, like it, subscribe it, rate it, review it. I'm really excited about growing this. And thank you for showing up, not just for the podcast, but for your future self. Peace out.